All right, good morning, this is Mike Torino. I'm out here at the build site for the house and I'm just doing a little maintenance to the, the mini skid steer. And if you're planning to get one of these, I just wanted to show you a couple things. The, the oil um, dipstick, crankcase oil dipstick is way down here. You can hardly even see it. And I think I talked about this before, but the mistake I made uh, last week, I haven't run it in a couple weeks, but the mistake I made was over tightening it. Even though I tightened it what I thought was finger tight, uh, I came back and that thing was really on there. And the, and the angle that you have to get your fingers in there is just really hard. So I got a pair of duck bills and I finally got it off. And so another thing that I noticed uh, which I was never familiar with. I don't know if it's peculiar to diesel engines, but the air cleaner has a small sump where there's supposed to be some oil. And you check that, that level with this dipstick right here. And I found that to be empty. And uh, so that was another bear to get off. It has a, has a thumb nut. Uh, wing nut, but uh, it's recessed up in here, and it's just another thing that's very hard to get with your fingers. But I, I was able to get this bowl off and then add some oil into here. And then uh, while I was in here, I found that uh, you know the throttle cable here was you know hitting the the muffler and it started to melt it the sheathing on it so I tidied this wiring harness up here and I tidied this harness up when I first got it I, I fixed up these harnesses over here to try to keep them away from the engine so that's just an update on this machine here I'm just gonna start warm it up and you know run it through its paces a little bit every week uh, yeah so we had a little oil leak here. I was working on these coconut trees and I looked over here and I saw this wet spot on the ground. I was like, well, maybe someone poured some water or something there. And I didn't see, I didn't see any more. But then I saw it, the ground was wet over there again. And then I saw it dripping out of, stripping out of the, the bottom pan here. Looks like it's uh, it's the boom up and down for the boom. Right here. To tell you the truth, all those all those bean nuts look like they're a little loose. So I don't have any uh, open end wrenches with me. Right here. 
I narrowed it down to uh, this particular line right here is the, is the up and down um, for the boom and it's leaking pretty good uh, so I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow with some that looks like a job for a crow's foot so I've got them but they're back at the garage so I'm gonna let it cool down and uh, we'll come back tomorrow and check all these bead nuts for tightness so another day another repair